Welcome to Euphoria, another teen high school drama show in which, yet again, students don't wear backpacks to school, dress up every day like they're attending a red carpet and not Mrs. Johnson's 8am geometry class, and Ashley's biggest concern is not getting pregnant or overdosed. Very relatable, right? So without further ado... I've watched Euphoria so you don't have to. Episode 1. The first character we meet is this girl called Rue, and apparently the only hobby she did over the summer was coke, so she ended up in rehab, which I don't even think worked, because right afterwards she got back to her local drug dealer Fez, who she's apparently like BFF sweet or something, I don't know how that works. But yeah, she got a crack and headed to this party to get fucked up again, which I honestly find so inspirational. Don't let anything stop you from doing what you love. Not even a rehabilitation facility. Then there's also this little shit, Fez's brother, who killed four people throughout the show for, like, no reason. But 16-year-old white girls are still out there literally worshipping him in their school bathrooms. When girls tell me they're into bad boys, I don't assume they mean fucking 8-year-old serial killers. Then there's this guy, McKay, who's throwing a back-to-school party, even though he already graduated high school, so I don't even know how that works. I guess he just likes high school chicks way too much. Anyways, he's dating this 16-year-old girl, Cat. Cassie. Um, I, I don't even know if that's legal. Um, this is her best friend Maddie, who's dating this Nate guy and breaks up with him like every 15 minutes. She gets with a random dude during the party to make Nate jealous, so Nate's like, okay, now I'm angry, I guess I'm gonna go drink my body weight in alcohol and beat someone up like a mature 17-year-old. So you'd expect him to like fight the guy who his girlfriend is cheating with, or like another guy with similar physical strength as him. But no, he actually goes for this new girl called Jules. He's like, hey, so I'm angry now and I'm gonna fuck you up for no reason and she's like I'd bet then pulls a knife on him out of nowhere threatens him and slits her hand a little to like make a point or something I, I feel like pulling a knife out of nowhere was enough but you do you girl so naturally Nate runs away like a little bitch and she fucks his dad <laughs> I I'm not even kidding, that's the actual plot. Anyways, Rue sees that whole situation and decides to befriend Jules. They become best friends and start doing all the things best friends do, like riding your bikes, going roller skating, going to parties, taking nude pics of each Oh, Also, this girl Kat is peer pressured into losing her virginity and the guy who pressured her recorded it and posted the video online. Um, so yeah, I guess everyone had a fun night. Episode 2, nothing special really happens, um, oh, oh yeah, Rue almost dies from overdose for like the seventh time. Episode 3. So while Rue's dying, our girl Kat is out there getting that cash, becoming a cam girl. Just last episode, she was a shy girl making shitty stories for Tumblr, and now she's out here having sex with half the city. So I don't really know how that happened, but I guess receiving affection from strangers really changes you. Not something I'd be familiar with, um, but episode 4, Rue and Jules come to this carnival thing, just talk and look at things, hey Jules, look at that chorus cell, hey Rue, look at that ferris wheel, hey Jules, look at Nate's dad, you know, the guy who accidentally fucked the day of the party, meanwhile, McKay and Cassie run into Nate at the carnival and this happens. You guys like in a relationship? No, we just chilling. Are you just chilling? Yeah, we chilling. So now Cassie's pissed because McKay lied about their relationship status. McKay is like, lol, go fuck yourself. And I guess Cassie takes his advice way too literally, goes to just casually do Molly with Maddie, and then rides the chorus. And what I mean by ride is she sticks the horse up her puss. Maddie, on the other hand, is ready to start some shit. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be here right now because I'm dressed like a hooker and none of you like me. But I just wanted to say congratulations. Maddie, get out of here. <laughs> What is your problem, you cunt? Uh, but yeah, she knocks her chili onto the ground, I guess because she doesn't like Nate's family or something. So that angers Nate, he grabs her and chokes her, and I mean like he chokes her very violently. Like he leaves her with really severe bruises, and the most fucked up thing out of all of this is that they just immediately make up. Like nothing ever happens, so either this girl is like the most forgiving person in the world, or she just has a massive choking kink. And yeah, apparently Jules has been sexting with some guy on a dating app, sending him nudes, receiving dick pics. Hey, Rue, look at this dick pic some random loser sent me. 
Oh, oh my god, did you touch the needles with the white stuff again? Anyways, the guy sending dick pics turns out to be Nate, so Jules is finally like, fuck the male gender, and starts dating Rue. Episode 5, Maddie is caught with bruises on her neck and is sent to the police station, where she just goes into crazy mode, obliterates the questioning room, threatens an officer, while Nate beats up and somehow forces Tyler to say that he was the one strangling Maddie, um, you know, the guy Maddie used to make Nate jealous, um, yeah, my dude Tyler's in jail now for like, no reason. In. Episode 6, Cassie gets pregnant. Episode 7, McKay makes her get an abortion. Episode 8, Cassie gets an abortion and finally breaks up with McKay. Also, Maddie breaks up with Nate for like the 17th time in this show. And everyone lives happily ever after. Psych, they're all fucking miserable. Maddie starts having a dance battle with Nate. Like, what the fuck? He literally assaulted her like 15 minutes ago. And now they're like, haha, I can dance better than you. I can't wait to see them strangling each other in two minutes again. Rui is worried about Jules for some reason, so she tells her drug dealer Fest to tell Nate to stop catfishing her, it ain't funny no more. However, that kind of backfires, cause Nate calls up the cops and they raid Fez's drug empire, hence he's forced to flush all the drugs down the toilet. So yeah, hopefully Rue has some crack stacked up, because she ain't gonna be seeing new coming in anytime soon. She also has a main character moment with Jules, where she's like, oh my god, I hate this town, I can't even get crack anymore, let's run away, and Jules is like, lol, sure. So they get on a train, but at the last moment, Rue is like, okay, I changed my mind pussy salt and Jules is like, k okay, bye, and just ditches her. At the end, Rue starts actively doing drugs again because Jules left, and I think that's the main moral of the show. No matter how much you love someone, you will always love snorting cocaine more. Thank you. Big.